Whether he's spinning tales of love, betrayal and deception on the hit show Tinsel, or spreading joy, laughter and good cheer on his web series How She Left My Brother, he continues to distinguish himself as an adept African storyteller. He shares his passions and his hopes for the future of African filmmaking. A lot of people see filmmaking, entertainment, anything that's in the entertainment business as an easy way to fame or a ridiculously easy way to make a ridiculously good living. Two, two, one. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Scene one, Apple, take one. Uh, my name is Victor Sanchez Agahoa. I tell stories for a living. What you need to understand is that this is incredibly hard work. I, I refrain from using the word rights, but if we get a great story, great actors, right? A great crew together. Literally, literally no limit on what we can do. Being the type of show that Tinsel is, it attracts a great number of talents. What do you want? I need to talk to you about something. That's not a good time. Listen, just, just give me a few minutes, okay? I have bigger things to worry about right now. Hello? What makes me um, excited about my job, it's the ability to create something out of nothing. I've once had a quote from Peter Jackson where he said um, he's excited about a film in pre-production, gets on set on day one, by day three he's tired and then he stays exhausted throughout the rest of the production. Think about us doing that every day for the last six years. <laughs> It's one of the few jobs where you get the satisfaction of um, seeing something in your head, putting it down on paper, and almost immediately being able to see it in real life. The process itself might get hard, the process itself might not be so enjoyable sometimes, but at the end, the end product is always, always enjoyable. The ability to, to you know, share your dreams with people and get paid for it. Um, what it means to me to tell stories for a living is uh, whatever the art form, be it short films, feature films, TV, um, TV projects, commercials, actually currently working on a comic book, stage plays, any medium in which storytelling is key, that's what I do. Learn from others' mistakes and don't take the fact that you have a great idea for granted. Talk to people who have gone through the process and know what they're doing. They will very likely get you thinking about things you may have overlooked. Because I'm a writer, director, producer, but it's really rare that I ever work all three positions on the same project. Uh, Tinsel, writer, director, um, <laughs> since 09, but now I'm I've stepped back on the writing, so now I'm just directing. But a uh, recent project was um, my web series. Shut up! Uh, it's called How She Left My Brother, that aired on YouTube. And there I had to nice be writer, director, producer, executive producer. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was an amazing experience. And right now I'm working on a project in which I'm writing and directing, but not producing. Ten years ago, it was almost impossible to imagine somebody doing what we do now. When I started down this road, I really didn't think it was possible to get to this point, and I was okay with that. So when you, you go beyond where you thought was your dream, it's, every day is a blessing. So um, it's amazing to see the industry grow in leaps and bounds. One silence! I'm currently on a location shoot for Tinsel in Ghana. One of my favorite locations is the Trashy Bags brand factory in the showroom. I was blown away. They are great bags made from what you call trash. It's not my first time in the country, but it's my first time like really interfacing with a lot of people from the film industry on this side. And um, it's actually great seeing how different and yet how similar our work styles are. But in the end, I still believe it's all back to telling great African stories. So rehearse your actors, block your actors, shoot your scenes, tell the best story you can. 
God. To share your unique ideas and to watch more incredible, inspiring African stories, like Notion on Facebook and follow on Twitter.